Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. Hey, what's good, everyone? Looks like we do have some additional information, and I know I haven't been uh, covering the news from yesterday with the dual Dokkan Fest and whatnot from the V Jump leaks, but I do want to at least provide kind of information starting off with the Prime Battle LR Krillin's uh, legendary campaign and also talk about uh, some of the World Tournament units since I haven't covered it yet. So let's just go straight into the legendary campaign information for the. Uh, free to play LR Krillin. So the campaign itself will start on December 28th at 5 p.m. JP time. But of course, if you have your LR Krillin at 100% potential prior to that, you'll get some additional rewards out of it. So it's kind of like two ways, right? One is get it done already, get some rewards, or number two, you kind of get the bonus drop rates and make the grind a little bit easier. So it's ultimately like two different approaches. Now let's talk about uh, some of the rewards. So basically, um, during the campaign, if you have, you know, SA level 20 and 100% potential, you'll get rewards out of that. And then obviously, if you're able to get the LR Krillin in your deck prior to the uh, start of the campaign, you'll get an additional 10 Dragon Stones and, and a couple of other things. So it looks like you don't necessarily have to have it at 100% potential. You just have to acquire the LR version of the Prime Battle LR Krillin and uh, you should be able to get it. But let me verify this by scrolling down a little bit more. Okay, so uh, the uh, rewards will be available from the 18th through the 28th, so I'm guessing they already dropped with the reset earlier. That's probably why I ended up seeing like 10 plus Dragonstones in my box, but uh, outside of that, you will get three Elder Kai's and uh, two of the um, uh, Incredible Hourglasses. Now, during this time, though, once the campaign actually starts, you do get, like, increased drop rates. Now, uh, the category advantage for this during the campaign will be the Inhuman Deeds, and basically, by including units on that category, the drop rates from Krillin or the boss will increase a uh, pretty decent amount. And now, it doesn't necessarily tell you how much of an improvement in drop rates it'll actually give you, but uh, it should be a pretty decent amount. Now, for, for a majority of us, like, like myself, we've already went through the grind itself and you know, already have the unit at 100% potential and whatnot, so it's more or less just kind of you know, getting the additional rewards once the uh, campaign actually takes place. So just FYI, you do get increased drop rates based on the Inhuman Deeds category if you do plan on doing the uh, grind itself after the uh, campaign becomes available. Now let's go on over to the uh, World Tournament information, the Kid Gohan and, and whatnot. I'm, I'm sure we have like information on the passives by now uh, because I did see it on Twitter yesterday, but let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. Obviously LR Piccolo, Demon King Piccolo is still the uh, uh, reward. It looks like this World Tournament cell did Dokkan Awaken, which is very, very nice. Uh, attack and defense increase 120%. Um, and then Extreme Type Allies get key plus two, attack and defense increase of 30%. And then uh, super type enemies defense will drop by 60%. And if you have two or more enemies, high chance of activating an additional super attack. So this guy is, is really meant for uh, scenarios like uh, super battle road and whatnot where you're facing multiple enemies, but also providing support to your allies, uh, at least extreme type allies, but also you're reducing the super type enemies defense. So obviously with that being said, it just you know, culminates into uh, Super Battle Road type type bolt, you know what I mean? So that's pretty much uh, a good story there in terms of, you know, usefulness and whatnot. It'll probably make your Extreme Tech, uh, Extreme Super Battle Road run a little bit easier potentially with, you know, the inclusion of this guy because of, you know, the massive support he provides. So and I'm, I'm sure he can d hit uh, a decent amount as well. So it'll be uh, pretty interesting to see. We do have some like mission requirements related to the World Tournament where you do want to clear it with um, you know, movie heroes or movie bosses. I'm not necessarily going to concern myself too much. I think for the most part it just gives you, uh, you know, the, the medals basically. So I'm not really short on that anytime soon. So, you know, that's, that's all good for me, I guess. Um, there should be information on the Kid Gohan. I'm guessing it's on the actual World Tournament banner information, so let's uh, take a quick look and see what we find. Alright, so this is your SSR <clears throat> guaranteed banner. They should have the Dragon Ball Saga uh, you know, banner as well. There we go. So scrolling over, we do have the Annin, which is uh, 
attack and defense increase of 120% with the passive, and then if HP is 60% or above, uh, key plus two at additional attack and defense increases 60%. And uh, for the Peppy Gals category allies on the team, attack increased 20%, defense increased 10%. And for the uh, Realm of Gods category allies, also attack increases 20% and defense increases 60%. And then upon <clears throat> upon the start of the turn, HP of 6% recovery. So similar to some of the older units like, you know, the Strength Goku Black and whatnot from the uh, World Tournament Rewards or uh, Banner. It's kind of like the similar set of uh, passive skill related to that. So. Um, where is the Goku unit? That's kind of surprising, I guess. Um, I know he's here somewhere, so let's just scroll through real quick. Hmm, that is very interesting. I thought if we found information, I'm, it must have been posted on Twitter, but I've heard that uh, the unit's pretty damn good. Uh, bottom line is, so we'll uh, we'll <laughs> leave it at that. I, I guess I could add it in the pinned comment here in a second, but. Yeah, I mean, overall, um, just really wanted to cover the uh, Prime Battle uh, LR Krillin Legendary Campaign as well as some of the, you know, information that came out related to the World Tournament. Uh, as much as I want <clears throat> the Kid Gohan unit, it's it's going to be a real struggle to go through the World Tournament grind. I don't have it in me like I did before, so it's, it's you know, it's certainly a grind. It's, you know, it's, it's always a good way to get rewards, but geez, man, like the grind itself is so damn time consuming, especially on a weekend where I'm not necessarily looking to, uh, you know, spend my weekend like that. You know what I mean? So uh, with that being said, I mean, I'll probably at least try and get the uh, 23 million uh, total points re <coughs> requirement to get the majority of the rewards. But I don't know if I can go past 30 million. Honestly, I'll, I'll stop once I get all the rewards, if I even get to that point. But I uh, didn't mean to go off on a tangent there, but uh, yeah, this is the uh, summarized information of the news that's available at this point today, so hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.